The River Murray, unstoppable, just like the footy. River Murray Football. Yes, uh, we're just about through the finish line here on the Flow Friday Night Sports Show. But as always, uh, we need to finish off by talking River Murray football. Wonder what sort of week it's been in River Murray football, Flow Man. We're about to find out. How are you, Big Brucey? G'day there, boys. And oh, what a big week in River Murray football. One of the biggest weeks you've ever seen. <laughs> and I tell you what, it really is a big week because it's shaping up this season to one of the big finals. And when you look at that premiership table, there's those gerboys and tail and bend people around that are going, hmm, maybe we might just have a Bloods versus the Eagles grand final. Oh, yes. Has it ever happened? Your job this week, Bruce, is to go back through the records and tell us if Jervois and Taylor have ever met in a grand final. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves tonight, Bruce, because Jervois beat Ramblers 26-11 to 3-2. You could also go back in the record books for me, Bruce, and find if Jervois have ever beaten Ramblers by a margin of 147 points. Well, you took the words right out of my mouth there, Flo, man, because I was actually got that written down on my notes here and... Uh, Oh, look, it'll be a long time since Jervois have beaten Ramblers by that sort of margin. And when I seen the scores coming through to me last Saturday, I just thought, gee, is this uh, is correct? Because, uh, look, it was just a blowout, wasn't it? And it was that man, Josh Scott, who's in sensational form. He kicked 11 majors, and he really is the engine room of the Bloods. And, look, if you've got a bloke up forward that can kick uh, 11 goals, you're going to win a lot of games. And... Uh, Got really a standout in that uh, game he was. Also uh, playing well with Luke Klasky and uh, Wilson as long with, along with Barry and Noy for a ramble as well. It was uh, Matt Hartman that battled hard in ruck, McDonald and Pratt, the little rover. But uh, it was well, Scott with those 11. And let's not forget Zach Makins with five. That's a pretty good effort too. Barry with a couple as did Durant, Nella and Wilson for ramblers. Well, goals were hard to find. Ellis the multiple with a couple. Yeah, it was, Madam. Kick 23, 10, 148 to Meningi. 4 3, 27. Another blowout, Bruce. Well, unfortunately, Flowman, we are seeing quite a few blowouts this season in River Murray. And uh, look, those two bottom teams in uh, Maipalonga and uh, Meningi, with the exception of Ramblers, and that last game, uh, it really has been uh, some one way traffic in River Murray. And uh, well, it's a pretty good effort by Manham uh, with a couple of their guns out and the likes of um, uh, Keller and, of course, uh, Ribbond. So a couple of big guns out. Hample with six. Quinn with four. Look, Benny Quinn. Maybe we should have the, op- the opening wine of if I could turn back to... <laughs> <laughs> Tina Turner. Oh, wow, that's, isn't that sure? I just had visions of Bruce on the big cannon. Oh, that <laughs> was sure, actually. Yeah. Right. It wasn't Tina. I got that wrong. But, Give uh, me a spell. Oh, I wouldn't want to see Bruce dressed like that either. Oh. <laughs> Benny Quinn was turning back the time last week. He kicked four and Boy. he really is green and gold. He bleeds for the Man and Footy Club. And, look, they had a good win there, belting Meningi. The better players were for Meningi were Van and Brink, Halliday and Sanders, whilst for Manham it was Tarbay, O'Malley and Tarsley. Well, Taylor and Ben, uh, the reason why we're asking that question about a Jervois grand final, they beat the other club in the top three, Imperials, 15-12-102 to 12-10-82. Uh, 20-point margin, Bruce and Taylor led this from start to finish and they looked the goods. Oh, they certainly do, and uh, to take a big Murray Bridge scalp is certainly uh, no easy feat. Imperials have dominated the competition in the last decade, as have Ramblers, and uh, this is a very good win, and of course out there on the toy ground at Tail and Bend, it was the start, not no multiple goal kicker for Tail and Bend of note, Starkey, Bell, Wilson, Westoff, Rossi, all with a couple, while for Imperials it was Sam D. Michelle four. Um, I guess the talking point of this match was... Uh, uh, Taylor and Ben getting the points. Boris, just a, a three goal, so he was well held. Domination of Rossi, the uh, former uh, Southern football player uh, for Flagstaff, he'll best on ground for Taylor and Westhoff and Guy, whilst for Imps it was Montgomery and the veteran Lukey Harrowfield. And, uh, and, and the story of the game, obviously, Louis De Michel returning to play for Imperials, which is uh, great for the club. Mm-hmm. Question, boys, how many rounds to go? Uh, well, we've just done uh, round uh, 12. Trying to put me under the bus there, Jason. Yep. Yep. Uh, well, we'll find that out. The reason I ask is he got Johnny Boris on 72 goals for the year, Josh Scott on 68. I'm wondering if we can get both of these boys to the ton. 
Well, it'd be great if we could get them both home to 100. Now, uh, the flow man, look, the flow man's going for the statistics tonight. You're supposed to be the stat man there, Jace, but he might just uh, put me on the spot here. When was it last that two River Murray players kicked 100 goals in a season? Oh, that's a good question. We're going to work this stuff out in between now and when we speak next. But yes. Well, how many rounds have you counted there? Yes, yeah, seven rounds to go, Bruce. Just thought I should be in front of Jason on the stats here. But uh, Imperials and Manham, they'll be on the stats, that's for sure. And Manham are going to have to uh, play well against Imperials to beat them. And this could be a prelude to a finals game at some point in this final series. So they want to get some form, Manham. Oh, look, uh, it'll be a benchmark for them, won't it, in this game? And they'll hope they get uh, maybe one of those uh, injured players back and maybe Dylan Rims. I think I've heard uh, Kello uh, may be gone for the season, but so O'Malley will be out probably with work commitment. So, uh, look, your favourite Imperials here, Louis D. Michelle, uh, having that run last week, very vital. Sam D. Michelle up forward. Boris, you won't hold him to three, two weeks in a row. He'll be back amongst the goals. So, look... Uh, Manham just haven't got that big goal kicker up for. They'll be relying on uh, Benny Quinn and uh, Tommy Russo uh, to do the job for them. But uh, for my mind, at Imps, Imps, too good here, Flo, man. They should get the job uh, done 31 to 40. Ramblers, Menengi, here's an interesting one. It's at Bear Park. And uh, Menengi going with a chance here, Bruce. Well, I've uh, got that written down on the notes here too, Jason uh, Statman. So you both are right on the money there tonight. And uh, look, it is a little slight outside sniff for them to uh, at home down there at Bear Park. They're usually about a three-goal or five-goal better side. This year, probably a two- or three-goal better side. But uh, look, that's their chance. But uh, look... Uh, Ramblers, I don't think, will let this one slip. They'll uh, really go down there with their A-grade game, uh, game. Matt Hartman in the ruck against his old club. Uh, look, he'll take it right up to them. They've got some handy players on that side. Callery up forward, uh, Haradine, Trevorrow. Uh, you'd think Ramblers would be too good for Meninga. They rely on too few, uh, the likes of uh, Ryan Hilton, Sam Sanders. We mention these guys every week. They're Warriors down there at Bear Park. Uh, Robinson... Uh, He's been a little bit quiet in the last couple of weeks, so I need him to get back into uh, getting the ball in the middle. But for me, Ramblers down there should get the points, 11 to 20. Quick comment, Jervois and Maipalonga at the Fruit Bowl. Well, Maipo come off the bye, don't they? So uh, they're freshened up, but uh, look, they'll need more than that. This year, they're just in a rebuilding year. They're seeing what they've got. Uh, Look, uh, they just haven't got any paid players out there, so they're just seeing what they've got this year to make an assault back into it next year. But Jervois, they'll be too good, mate. Silverlock, Scott up forward. Uh, Woodall's still not back, so it'll be interesting to see how long he he is away. Uh, They've got a pretty good back line. They're looking pretty steady, Jervois. I think they'll get the job done over my post, around about that same margin, 41 to 50. For the record, Scott booted 11 goals last time they played, and I reckon he might go close again. Uh, that's where we'll leave it tonight, Bruce. Uh, good luck on the weekend, mate. Good chatting as always. Yeah, thanks, fellas, and we look forward to, uh, of course, big story this week, our uh, media team, MFL TV, uh, appointed to live stream the Southern Football League final. So a big scoop for our small media team. Uh, You guys are a part of that, and uh, you are well worthy of being in the accolades. So, uh, yeah, we're certainly looking forward to that with the grand final down there at Flinders University Stadium. All right, big Brucey talking uh, River Murray football, and we'll chat next week. Thanks, boys. See you next week.